What makes a behavior abnormal? Is it strange habits, emotional extremes, or something more? Let's explore the world of abnormal psychology, where science meets human behavior. In this video, you'll explore how psychologists define abnormal behavior, the key criteria they use to identify it, and the primary factors that contribute to its development. Not all unusual behaviors are abnormal. Psychologists look for patterns that cause distress, interfere with daily life, or are culturally unexpected. There are four main criteria for defining abnormal behavior. Deviance, distress, dysfunction, and danger. Let's break each one down. Deviance means behavior that strays from cultural or social norms, but being different doesn't always mean someone is mentally ill. Next, distress refers to emotional suffering. If someone feels intense anxiety, sadness, or fear, this can be a red flag for abnormal behavior. Dysfunction happens when behavior interferes with daily functioning, like school, work, or relationships. Lastly, danger includes behaviors that threaten personal safety or the safety of others. While rare, it's a serious indicator of abnormality. Together, these four indicators, also called 4Ds, help clinicians decide when a behavior might signal a deeper issue. We've clarified how the 4Ds, deviance, distress, dysfunction, and danger, separate unusual from truly abnormal. Want to turn those milestones into mastery? Tap the link to access the practice test, flashcards, and study guide, then jump right back into the video. Lock in what you learned and keep going. With that foundation fresh, let's see how the field turns these ideas into standardized criteria used in diagnosis. Mental health professionals rely on tools like the DSM-5 to categorize and diagnose mental disorders using specific criteria. Once abnormal behavior is identified, the next question is, what causes it? Psychologists consider several explanations, starting with biological factors. Many disorders run in families. Genetic predispositions can make someone more vulnerable to developing certain conditions. Imbalances in neurotransmitters, the brain's chemical messengers, can also play a major role in mental illness. Psychological factors like trauma, stress, and learned behaviors influence how people cope and behave. But internal psychology isn't the only influence. Our environment also plays a powerful role. Family, culture, and surroundings all shape mental health and development. Poverty, abuse, or lack of support can increase risk. Since biological, psychological, and environmental factors interact, Many experts use the biopsychosocial model to understand abnormal behavior more holistically. The goal of abnormal psychology is not just to label, but to understand, support, and treat people with compassion and science. Got it? Mental health is complex, and no two people are the same. Understanding abnormal behavior helps reduce stigma and promotes mental wellness. Remember, Abnormal behavior is defined by deviance, distress, dysfunction, and danger, shaped by biology, psychology, and environment. Ready to quiz yourself with the content covered in this video? Check out the link in the description where you'll find Quizlet content made just for you.